What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of Carp Angler TV. Uh, your host here, Mr. Grubbs. And um, I've been fishing this spot for a couple days. The first day, I didn't get a single bite. Second day, I lost two fish to a snag um, and then caught a beautiful mirror. I got some footage of it. Uh, and this silly microphone thing was not on, which it is on right now, looking at it, it's on. I was recording yesterday, got a bunch of footage with zero audio. Um, and if there is some audio from the big camera, it's probably terrible. But we caught a beautiful mirror, put that one back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I recorded a bunch of video. Now this guy's making a ton of noise. We had to fight for this fish, folks. We gotta get it back, it's getting late. Love, 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 love these mirrors. Uh, and came back last night and we caught two more mirrors, lost one fish, and we caught a common. We got the fight of the common. The mirrors were really early, uh, one of them in the pitch black and um, the other one, I hadn't set up cameras yet. Gotta get them through these weeds. I got one shoe on and one shoe off. These fish in here fight like crazy. It's a nice fish. Nice little bud. And this one ate the, the uh, Mega Spice. It's a beaut. But let's get her in the water. Up and go. But, uh, we, it's like perfect now. The sun's out real nice to give us uh, some really nice light. And we're gonna use, we're gonna use this lovely new mat that Rafael sent us. I'm actually digging this mat so much more than I thought I would. Um, and that's because it doesn't have sides. But this thing is huge. Like it's absolutely enormous. I could totally sleep on this if it wasn't covered in carp slime, which like right now it's nice and dry and wonderful, but we're about to cover it in goo. Um, yeah, this thing's awesome. Ooh. So we get the knee pads right here for taking photos. Nice and comfy, like even on this like super rocky stuff, um, my knees feel great. 
Uh, you got this doohickey here. Ooh, ah. Hey, uh, which comes up and can cover up the fish if you do have to step away, like if we get a run when we pull the fish out of the sling. <clears throat> it's perfect and it matches everything. Rafael has uh, definitely hooked us up with a lot of the thinking angler stuff. So that's thinking anglers. Then the sling that the fish are in right now, that's thinking anglers. And of course, all of our rod protection is also thinking anglers. Super cool stuff. They have great stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna get these fish out of the sling here. All right, and just sitting right there. Two beautiful, small, really small, really pretty mirrors. Uh, one of them is fully scaled. It looked, and the other one I didn't even get a look at because it was so dark. I just put it right in the sling and shoved it out and went back to sleep. So, super cool. Let's get them up on the map. All right. Here we go. Sick. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Wow. Buttes. Studs. These fish are just incredible. Wow, finally got that one to chill out for a second. Oh my God, oh my God, guys, relax. At least I can get a really good picture of them like this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's so cool, so freaking sweet. little mirrors all right guys try and take a couple pictures well ladies and gentlemen tends to be a night place. I have not gotten a run in quite some time. And um, my smaller boilies got chewed off, probably by turtles or something. Uh, crawfish, something. Something's going on down there. They're eating my boilies. We right now, I just wanna say that uh, we as carp fishermen we spend a lot of time on the bank. And a lot of the banks I see look like that. It's freaking just trash everywhere. No, those peanuts are mine. But there's just trash. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean some of this trash up. That's my goal right now. I'm just gonna walk around. I got one of my trash bags and we're just going to um, clean this place up a little bit and leave it a little bit nicer than we found it. Uh, I know Fred does that a lot to a lot of his places that he frequents and um, it is a nice thing to do. I should be wearing gloves because I just got over poison ivy and I know this place has poison ivy all over that spot over there where I used to fish and now I refuse to fish. 
because every time I go there, I get littered in poison ivy or poison something or other. But neither here nor there. I definitely want to just get some of this stuff cleaned up. And if I get more poison ivy, so be it. I just got over it, so my body's ready, right? Is that how that goes? Is that how poison ivy works? I don't think so. Well, for the rest of the day, I spent uh, fishing this spot. Not a single run. And uh, a couple of times when I reeled up, my boilies had gotten uh, completely chewed up. I don't know if they were crawfish or turtles or what's going on down there, but something was chewing on my stuff when it was out there for a while. And I was letting the bait sit because that's what I'd, you know, been getting the bites at night. Um, but this place is definitely more of a more of an overnight spot so that being said no more bites were had but i gotta say again i'm super impressed uh with all the thinking anglers gear uh that i have right now and uh that is what i set forth to make this video about i also want to say i just got uh my weekly package um i ordered myself some line here uh let me spool this baby up so Fred was saying that I should have a little more line uh, on the reels, especially if I'm with him and he has his bait boat. It'd be nice to have over 400 yards of line. So I just spooled uh, these puppies up with the PB Products Control. This is uh, 0.35 millimeters in diameter. This is 0.35 millimeters in diameter. Um, 24 pound test so that's pretty sweet to get 24 pound test um, that thin of line and that's why I went with that so we loaded each one of these up with a little over 400 yards they can take 500 yards but the spool uh, the spool actually had over 1250 um, oh this is meters that's why I should have converted that into yards and then done the math. That's why one of my spools has more than the other two. Uh, fantastic. Proud to be an American, where at least I know I can do math. So I got a bag of the Superfruit DT uh, baits. Premium boilies. Now, I wanted to try the DT baits because I never have. Um, I really haven't been boily fishing too much. But they're getting me some really good fish and some really good runs. So, I figured uh, why not try why not try some, some new boilies. And I know we did a collaboration with DT baits and I haven't tried those yet, but I'm going to be ordering a big bag of those soon. I just wanted to really uh, try DT baits on its own. So I got one of those. So stay tuned. In the next few videos, we're going to be, uh, you know, throwing a bunch of bunch of different stuff out there. Like I said, I've really been killing it on that Ronnie Boy rig lately. It's been slaying. It, it's literally all I'm going to be using right now. I'm in love with it. It's like, it makes things so easy super freaking easy and the hookups have been great um the runs have been like like when they're they're getting hit and they are freaking sprinting off i'm loving it um so that's it guys do us a favor hit that subscribe button hit the bell as well so you're notified when we drop videos let us know in the comments down below what you think of, uh, of these fishing videos we we love to hear the feedback but uh yeah let us know what you think let us know if there's anything you guys want to see we got some things in the works i got some things in my head that i've been uh talking to the boys about so we will catch you on the next one fish on